I'm Robin Higgins, and this is a list of some uses for radioactive isotopes in biology and medicine. All right, so uh, there's tons of uses for radioactive isotopes in biology and medicine. Let's start with being used as a tracing device. So let's say that we want to take an x-ray of a specific uh, portion of the body, except let's say that maybe unlike something like teeth, uh, if we take an x-ray, we're not going to see anything. We're just going to see mush. Well, what you can do is insert a tracer, and then that will allow the x-ray to show up. So let's say you have someone with a heart condition, and you want to be able to tell uh, what areas of the heart are pumping effectively and which areas are clogged. Well, you can actually insert a chemical, which will be a tracer, and so it's radioactive isotopes that won't hurt you, um, and then they get into your heart or your bloodstream, and then you can take an x-ray, and then it's kind of like, um, like breadcrumbs, like Hansel and Gretel for an x-ray. And so you can see that like every single radioactive isotope will act like a breadcrumb, breadcrumb, and if you light them all up, then you'll be able to see the path that the blood in your heart is taking. So this is a huge, huge device for radioactive isotopes is as tracers. And the other one that's pretty common in medicine that we think about is for cancer, and it's just called radiation therapy. So if you have certain types of radiation or at certain concentrations, uh, it will be harmful. And radiation therapy is used to kill cancer cells, and the goal and the hope is that it will kill the cancer cells before it kills the normal cells so that you'll be able, you'll get sick, but when you recover, your healthy cells will be okay and all the cancer cells will be gone. This is another big use of uh, radiation in medicine. And then in biology, or going a little bit off into a specific type of biology, um, in archaeology, uh, you can actually use isotopes to do carbon dating. And so this is a really interesting technique because there is a certain isotope of carbon that degrades uh, over a very, very, very long amount of time. And so if you take a sample in the earth and you test how much uh, of this radioactive carbon there is, you can find a percentage of that. And then based on its half-life, you can do math and figure out when that soil or when that rock comes from. And so this is how we figured out you know, how old so many different layers of the earth are. Uh, and it works very well. It's very precise. And it's all because of radioactive isotopes. So there's tons more, uh, but these are three of my favorites. I think they have really cool applications. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is How Do You Use Radioactive Isotopes in Biology and Medicine.